lights, contrast, action. Fashion is fickle, but safety is no accident. Visibility, ensuring that we are easily seen, is absolutely a rider's responsibility. Studies show that effective lights, contrast, and biomotion combine to make us safer by garnering the attention of drivers. The principles are simple and the stakes are high. Getting struck by a car is no joke. I know because I've been hit three times. I began cycling the busy streets of the Maryland side of the Washington DC line on my buddy Jack's borrowed bike in June of 1980. Not sure if I'd like cycling, Jack let me borrow his bike to test the waters. I hadn't been riding a month when I managed to be struck from behind at an intersection. It was approaching midnight, well after dark, and my bicycle was equipped with the legally required accoutrements for cycling after the sun sets, a rear reflector and weak as a kitten headlight. I knew I'd be cycling well into the nighttime when I left home, so I had also chosen to wear white painter's pants, a fashion must-have in the late 70s and early 80s, and a light-colored chambray shirt. Front light, rear reflector, light-colored clothing. I was ready to hit the streets, and I did. Ow! Days after my close encounter with a VW Beetle, I purchased my own ride. I paid Jack for his tacoed rear wheel from the small amount of insurance money I received. Fresh from a collision, I added state-of-the-art Barrick bike lights front and rear. In 1980, battery operated bike lights were glorified flashlights. Simple, ineffective flashlights that used two D cells to fire up a three volt, low wattage incandescent bulb. Luckily, the streets I rode on had street lights, otherwise I might as well have been riding with my eyes closed. Riding in street clothes and helmetless in the wee hours of the night is asking for trouble. I quickly added a belt beacon, a 9-volt, amber-covered, incandescent flashing light, whoa, fancy, to my ride, along with a huge, ugly, reflective arrow, an MSR orange bike helmet. I knew that greater visibility equals greater safety, but I was a self-conscious, low-budget teen trying to figure this stuff out on my own. Fast forward 40 years, and the good news is that the guesswork about visibility has been removed. All you have to do is follow the ABCs of cycling safety. The bad news is that drivers are more distracted than ever. Think you know your ABCs? Let's review. A is for always on. Lights are not just for nighttime. At least one leg of my daily commute is in full sunshine. Yet I have my Bontrager Ion 800 headlight flashed into a syncopated, eye-catching, seizure-inducing beat under the brightest as well as lowest amount of ambient light. Why? So people notice me. My light is visible from over a mile away and I cannot count the number of times drivers have waited for me because they've seen me. And power matters. Don't think some low level 2018 version of my 1980 Barrick head or taillight is going to catch the eye of distracted drivers. You need power, you need flash, you need to be the bigger distraction day or night. Through the decades, I have graduated from my Barrick to a generator-operated light to a Velox and on down the line through the years. If your light is a joke, why use it? To satisfy a legal requirement? Trust me, getting hit by a car, to quote Rocky Balboa, stings a little. Bright lights flashing erratically catch, catches the eye of the distracted tiger. B is biomotion. We are programmed to notice movement. Mammals appeared on the Earth 160 million years ago. In the ensuing eons, we have been in an eat or be eaten mode. As hunter or hunted, we notice things that move. It is literally in our DNA. And what moves as we ride our bikes? Our feet, our knees, our lower legs. These are the parts that bob up and down with every pedal stroke. So these are the parts where bright eye-catching colors do us the most good. Black shoes, forget about them. Low or no socks and drab colors? Who are you, Charles Bronson? Bruce Willis? You got a death wish? Color counts most when it's moving. Make sure the parts that bob up and down are as eye-catching as possible. Contrast, like cookie, starts with C. We know that in the Be the Bigger Distraction game, our moving parts count the most, but don't minimize your biggest and most easily seen billboards. A bright helmet is visible from farther away than bright socks simply because it is up higher. Add a flashing Ion 800 to the front and a flare R to the back of your helmet and you've elevated the see me, feel me, don't touch me game beyond the realm of Tommy and the Who. And are you really wearing a black jersey? 
Bright mismatched colors catch the human eye. Use that knowledge to make yourself seen. The last time I was struck by a car was over three decades ago. In the interim, I have ridden enough miles to circumnavigate the world six and one half times. That's over 155,000 collision-free miles. And by using my ABCs, I hope to do at least that many more without having a close encounter of the bumper kind. We all need to do what we must to be the bigger distraction. Cell phones were not available until 1983, and they cost as much as a Yugo, the king of crappy cars. It was nearly the 21st century before DVD players started distracting drivers from SIPTI, searching, identifying, predicting, deciding, and executing a course of action in our driving. People are texting while driving, watching videos, reading emails, all while holding their phones in one hand, eating a donut in the other, and drinking coffee with a third. You think they're going to see you if you're dressed in oh-so-slimming fashionable black and ride and a riding sans 800 lumens of look-at-me candle power front and equivalent attention-grabbing rear? You willing to bet your life on that? Being seen as simple as ABC. Do it!